Noon Mesa Church. My name is Jessica and I'm call coming at you guys live and direct from my backyard. Um, I'm so thankful to be here today. Um, thank you, Josh and Patty, for um, allowing me to be here for your lunchtime nuggets. I'm, um, I'm so excited to share what God has been placing on my heart during this season. During this quarantine time, a lot of us... Um, don't know what to do with our time being at home and all I can think of is is as I was in prayer and and thinking about being in quarantine what is that like you know and so it, it brought me to thinking about a little bitty baby a baby that is born premature and in the mother's womb it it wasn't able to survive in the world and so they put it in an incubator and they stay inside that incubator for a period of time to grow and and um i believe that's what god is doing during this time for each and every one of us is allowing us to grow and whenever i was thinking about all of this see then this season i it brought me to the scripture um romans 12 2 and in the NIV, it says, it says, do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This will be, then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. And then it allowed me to think of things to reflect on, um, to repent and to renew during this time. Um, I, I really am, am seeing it as an opportunity for time that we might not have always had time for. Um, I believe God is, is given us this time, this quarantine time as a gift. You know, sometimes some of us are, are busy working or, you know, running errands with the kids. And maybe some of you guys are still working and are essential. And and the Bible is essential more than ever right now. And I really truly believe that God has given us this time to delight in his word. For us to be able to reflect on the things that he has placed on our hearts, to repent and, and to turn away from the things of the world and, and to renew ourselves. And it also reminded me when I was praying and, and seeking God um, about an example to give you guys. He he gave me a, a picture of a, a cocoon on a tree and kind of just there you know, in the cocoon, and, and it reminded me of during that time, that metamorphous time, the caterpillar changes to a butterfly, not realizing during that incubation time, during that time of of solitude, of not being able to go and do these crazy busy days, it it allows the butterfly to become, or the caterpillar to become a butterfly. And in that sense, it reminded me of what we're going through right now in this quarantine. That if we allow it and not copy the behaviors of the world and allow the media and, and the news to create fear in us, but, but to allow Jesus and the word of God to, to renew our minds. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person, changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good, pleasing, and perfect. Good, pleasing, and perfect. This time is good, it's pleasing, and it's perfect. Because God is allowing this to change us, to, to, to renew us. And, and in that scripture, to renew our minds. And so I'm just encouraging you guys as a whole that you use this time to reflect and to repent and to renew the God in you. To renew the God in you. To, to grow. 
to grow into to the masterpiece that he has created you to be. God is calling us out individually. He is he is growing us individually. So where whatever that looks like to you, I'm just encourage you to press in. Press in more than you've ever pressed in before and truly delight in the word of God and and allow this incubation period to grow us to grow us into look at a butterfly it's beautiful it's an ugly little caterpillar at first green or fuzzy or whatever it might be but when it's done the butterfly is so beautiful and so i know that's what god is is creating beauty from this storm and that he's moving mountains right now and i just I truly believe that today. So I just want to encourage you guys. Um, happy, happy week, guys. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of this quarantine time and, and to delight in the word of God. Um, thank you, Mesa Church, and have a great weekend.